like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe, and join the membership for exclusive content in the description. To obey is to... Simply to obey. Yes. You want to do what your dear M wants you to do. And you don't want to challenge him. You don't want to fight him. You don't want to complain. And you don't want to obey with a nasty, foul attitude. Because it? that would certainly not be pleasing. No, it's not pleasing. It's not... Why should it have to be a task? If you have someone that you love and care for, you want to make their life easier because you care about them. Hello, gentlemen and submissive wives or future submissive wives and the estrogens that are mad and bitter that estrogens want to be submissive wives. <laughs> so they're mad every day. Oh, don't submit to a man. How dare he get what he desires and their gender always desires. It's all about me, right? I was nothing but failure in all your relationships. <laughs> and for men to cheat on you and leave you for a submissive wife who knows her place. And then you sit there mad saying men aren't nothing. And they're over there being something with a submissive wife. So without further ado, gentlemen, you've seen the title of this video and or the thumbnail to please serve and obey. If you study a little bit of history, okay, just a little bit. You don't even need to study a lot, right? You always see that kings always desired a submissive estrogen. Why? Because men did not look at estrogens as their equal. Yeah, see the creature that, you know, built planes and countries and nukes and, you know, hunt animals and things. See, they never, they, they never did that. See, it's happening now. Men agree with that. Why? Well, a lot of reasons, right? Estrogens get the majority of child custody. So what are they going to raise? Beta men right they're going to raise men that think oh yeah just like an estrogen be feminine like an estrogen give her flowers and treat her super nice meanwhile right his mom used to get choked right in the back in the attic right <laughs> while uh her parents were asleep and you know getting it rough from the bag and spit on all the type of stuff but she's going to tell her young boy you you got to be super nice to her right they raise beta males okay the yes the 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 ones that estrogens have kids by are always those bad boys, just magically. The guy that, you know, was rough, you know, was leader, a dominant man, you know. And a lot, unfortunately, they pick men that, you know, don't domestically discipline her, but actually, you know, give her wax to the face. No disciplining, no teaching lesson. <laughs> right? That's what occurs, man. Men want... <sighs> It's just reality, man. It just saddens me that men don't even believe in themselves that they can get this, but you can. Men have always wanted estrogens to not be his equal, right? Why, why would I get a creature? Let's, let's just think about this. Let's just brainstorm. Why would I get a creature that's not as fast as me, that's not as strong as me, that hasn't accomplished as much as my gender, that can't beat me in chess, that can't beat me in video games, she can't beat me in any competition, and I'm going to sit here and go, this is my equal. It's foolish. Right? If you buy a dog, do you now go, we're both creatures, so we're both equal? No. Right? It's just like you just have to think. Just 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 a little bit. Okay, men desired estrogens to be his helper. <laughs> and then we breed off of that. Estrogens literally need us for survival. We have never needed you for survival. As a matter of fact, you even trying to assist in our survival would probably do more damage than good. Because you'll be in the way. Men don't desire that. Not real men. Now beta males, they'll be all up under all type of estrogens, comments, and just say they're amazing, they're pretty, and they're perfect. Literally just because they are an estrogen. Right? His standard of... His standard's in the gutter. Right? So, it's what men desired. It's what men have always wanted. Our relationship with an estrogen man she's supposed to assist us so while we after we battle lions and tigers and bears we want to come home and all the little miscellaneous things she is doing that because that is what actually benefits my life right i don't want to uh do laundry <laughs> i do it obviously but i every time i do it i go where is an estrogen to do my laundry <laughs> like i just know like that's i like because see I can be spending that time uh, working, I, working more. I can be spending that time strategizing more for a lot of different things compared to spending this extra 20 minutes, this extra 30 minutes uh, cooking and cleaning and doing laundry. That's what an estrogen is supposed to be doing, right? She's supposed to go and here, sweetie, get the keys, go uh, get a car wash with my car and here's some extra money if you want to go get some Starbucks or whatever, go do that.
Like if she's been being a good wife, you don't just reward them to reward them. Okay, sometimes they just need to do a duty because that's her role, right? But if she's being a good wife, here's to make some money, go get some Starbucks or you know, whatever. Do what you got to do, but be back with the car at this time. Yes, daddy. That's how she's supposed to respond. <laughs> okay, that's how that's supposed to occur. See, those little miscellaneous things, right? That benefits my life because now I get more extra time for me, right? Estrogens look at life different. They look at life like, gotta, gotta, gotta super clean everything and, 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 and do this all the time. This little miscellaneous things. But why men don't take those things as serious is because, see, men are worried. We are worrying about building our character more gaining more resources more like life stuff so we don't take those type of things as serious and they take it that serious because that's what they're supposed to be doing estrogens don't care about philosophies and history and oh it makes sense i see the logic and they don't care about those stuff right they care about little things that you know 10 year old you know children can 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 do and that's just the reality okay you're supposed to help with the little small things a man needs and you're supposed to also then bend over for that man because then that gives us we can release a man's nature is to release if you are not sleeping with your man by law he should be able to just sleep with someone else not to, like and no questions asked like that is literally like your main purpose okay you do the little miscellaneous things we come home you have the the hot tub ready you know we text you we're gonna be home in 10 minutes you have the hot tub ready Right, we get that. You have our slippers ready for when we hop out of the tub. You have the food ready for when we hop out the bathroom. Right, that is an estrogen bringing something to a man's life. Not you're working, I'm working. We don't see each other. Doesn't make sense. Not you're competing with me, but you can't beat me in chess, checkers, dominoes, nothing. It's a waste of time, and it's not what men want. When estrogens do what men want first. That is when an estrogen gets the man that she desires. But they can't do this whole, well, okay, I'm doing this, but like, what are you doing? It doesn't work like that. You can't, you're supposed to just naturally bring what estrogens are supposed to bring to the table. And men will then naturally bring what estrogens desire in, in, to, to the table, okay? So let's get into this. Um, I've did a video on her before. So the title of this video is probably something along the lines of, domestic discipline submissive wife something along the lines of this okay so man watching this you're probably gonna look at her and go oh my goodness she's so attractive and things like that um and this guy's older than her right alpha dawn in the building right maybe in his 60s maybe 70s 50s but see he's an alpha male now he might not be able to lift as much as a young man but see he knows who he is yeah he knows he's supposed to lead the relationship and see, when a man just leads like that, and that's just his standard, and he doesn't he doesn't waver on that, see, estrogens will just naturally just follow that type of energy. There are a lot of estrogens that want to submit to a man, want a man to lead them, but they just don't. If you leave estrogens to try to figure out how to do it by themselves, they'll mess it up. They're not, they're do, they're, they'll submit to then, why, but why don't you do this though? I submit it. They're, they're doing this tit for tat thing. They need to learn from a man. Okay, so man, like 60 here, estrogen probably like maybe late 20s, 30s, 40s. And this was regular as well, too. You get a man doesn't want a, an estrogen his age, man. Men and estrogens are not equal. Estrogens over 30, it's, you're out of luck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right? And that's when they start realizing, oh my goodness, the li life is hard. Like, uh, I, I thought it was me that got all this attention and all these things, but it never was. It was literally because you were born with the costume of an estrogen. That's what got you in the door and youthful costume of estrogen. But once you get older, you start to see people aren't as nice because people were only nice to sleep with you. Right? It wasn't your personality you thought you had, you thought existed. It was literally because you were an estrogen. Okay? It was regular back hundreds of years ago now that no matter what age a man is, he wants a youthful estrogen. That's just our nature. It'll always be our nature. And what kings used to do is when, when his queen got older, she knew that he was going to start sleeping with younger estrogens. But this is where an estrogen cannot get mad about that. She has to go... He was with me. I gave my youth to him. He provided a great life. I'm appreciative to him. It is the nature of man to want to sleep around. When when my gender, estrogen, sleep around, it's love and it's feelings and all, it's all these things. When men are sleeping around, it's literally just to feel good, right? Because it feels good, you know, intercourse. And then that's all it is, okay? 
And he used to get extra wives sometimes or maybe mistresses, but she just knew that that was the reality. The older an estrogen gets, the more her hold gets damaged, right? The more there's, you know, other problems maybe going on with her hold and stuff like that. Her balloons in the front are starting to sag. Her backside's starting to sag. And no one cares that the man can no longer get hard, right? She should be happy. Okay, okay, uh, okay, Lord, okay, Master, okay, King, right? I can't maybe- Hello, gentlemen and submissive wives or future submissive wives and- the estrogens that are mad and bitter, that estrogens want to be submissive wives. <laughs> so they're mad every day. Oh, don't submit to a man. How dare he get what he desires and their gender always desires. It's all about me. Right? I wish nothing but failure in all your relationships. <laughs> and for men to cheat on you and leave you for a submissive wife who knows her place. And then you sit there mad saying men aren't nothing. And they're over there being something with a submissive wife. So, without further ado, gentlemen, you've seen the title of this video and or the thumbnail to please serve and obey. If you study a little bit of history, okay, just a little bit. You don't even need to study a lot, right? You always see that kings always desired a submissive estrogen. Why? Because men did not look at estrogens as their equal. Yeah, see, the creature that, you know, built planes and countries and nukes and you know, hunt animals and things. See, they never, they, they never did that. See, it's happening now. Men agree with that. Why? Well, a lot of reasons, right? Estrogens get the majority of child custody. So what are they going to raise? Beta men, right? They're going to raise men that think, oh yeah, just like an estrogen, be feminine like an estrogen, give her flowers and treat her super nice. Meanwhile, right? His mom used to get choked, right? In the back, in the attic, Right? <laughs> While uh, her parents were asleep and, you know, getting it rough from the bag and spit on all the type of stuff. But she's going to tell her young boy, you, you got to be super nice to her. Right? They raise beta males. Okay? The, 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 the ones that estrogens have kids by are always those bad boys, just magically. The guy that, you know, was rough, you know, was leader, a dominant man, you know. And a lot unfortunately they pick men that you know don't domestically discipline her but actually you know give her wax to the face no disciplining no teaching lesson <laughs> right that's what occurs man men want it's just reality man it just saddens me that men don't even believe in themselves that they can get this but you can't men have always wanted estrogens to not be his equal right why, why would i get a creature let's let's just think about this let's just brainstorm why would i get a creature that's not as fast as me, that's not as strong as me, that hasn't accomplished as much as my gender, that can't beat me in chess, that can't beat me in video games, she can't beat me in any competition, and I'm going to sit here and go, this is my equal. It's foolish, right? If you buy a dog, do you now go, we're both creatures, so we're both equal? No, right? It's just like, you just have to think, just, 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 just a little bit, okay? Men desired estrogens to be his helper, <laughs> and then we breed off of that estrogens literally need us for survival we have never needed you for survival and matter of fact you even trying to assist in our survival would probably do more damage than good because you'll be in the way men don't desire that not real men now beta males they'll be all up under all type of estrogens comments and just say they're amazing they're pretty and they're perfect literally just because they are an estrogen Right? His standard of, his standard's in the gutter. Right? So, it's what men desired. It's what men have always wanted. A relationship with an estrogen man, she's supposed to assist us. So, while we, after we battle lions and tigers and bears, we want to come home and all the little miscellaneous things, she is doing that. Because that is what actually benefits my life. Right? I don't want to uh, do laundry. <laughs> I do it, obviously, but I, every time I do it, I go, where is an estrogen to do my laundry? <laughs> like, I just know, like, that's, I like, because, see, I can be spending that time uh, working, I working more. I can be spending that time strategizing more for a lot of different things compared to spending this extra 20 minutes, this extra 30 minutes uh, cooking and cleaning and doing laundry. That's what an estrogen's supposed to be doing, right? She's supposed to go and... Here, sweetie, get the keys, go uh, get a car wash with my car, and here's some extra money if you want to go get some Starbucks or whatever, go do that. Right? If she's been being a good wife, you don't just reward them to reward them. Okay, sometimes they just need to do a duty because that's her role, 
right? But if she's being a good wife here, so make some money, go get some Starbucks or, you know, whatever. Do what you got to do, but be back with the car at this time. Yes, daddy. That's how she's supposed to respond. <laughs> okay, that's how that's supposed to occur. See, those little miscellaneous things, right? That benefits my life because now I get more extra time for me. Right? Estrogens look at life different. They look at life like got to got to got to super clean everything and, and 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 do this all the time, these little miscellaneous things, but why men don't take those things as serious is because see, men are worrying we are worrying about building our character more gaining more resources more like life stuff so we don't take those type of things as serious and they take it that serious because that's what they're supposed to be doing Esther just don't care about philosophies and history and oh it makes sense i see the logic and they don't care about those stuff right they care about little things that you know 10 year old you know children can 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 do and that's just the reality okay you're supposed to help with the little small things a man needs and you're supposed to also then bend over for that man because then that gives us we can release a man's nature is to release if you are not sleeping with your man by law he should be able to just sleep with someone else not to, like and no questions asked like that is literally like your main purpose okay you do the little miscellaneous things we come home you have the the hot tub ready you know we text you we're gonna be home in 10 minutes you have the hot tub ready Right, we get that. You have our slippers ready for when we hop out of the tub. You have the food ready for when we hop out the bathroom. Right, that is an estrogen bringing something to a man's life. Not you're working, I'm working. We don't see each other. Doesn't make sense. Not you're competing with me, but you can't beat me in chess, checkers, dominoes, nothing. It's a waste of time, and it's not what men want. When estrogens do what men want first. That is when an estrogen gets the man that she desires. But they can't do this whole, well, okay, I'm doing this, but like, what are you doing? It doesn't work like that. You can't, you're supposed to just naturally bring what estrogens are supposed to bring to the table. And men will then naturally bring what estrogens desire in, in, to, to the table, okay? So let's get into this. Um, I've did a video on her before. So the title of this video is probably something along the lines of, domestic discipline submissive wife something along the lines of this okay so man watching this you're probably gonna look at her and go oh my goodness she's so attractive and things like that um and this guy's older than her right alpha dawn in the building right maybe in his 60s maybe 70s 50s but see he's an alpha male now he might not be able to lift as much as a young man but see he knows who he is yeah he knows he's supposed to lead the relationship and see, when a man just leads like that, and that's just his standard, and he doesn't he doesn't waver on that, see, estrogens will just naturally just follow that type of energy. There are a lot of estrogens that want to submit to a man, want a man to lead them, but they just don't. If you leave estrogens to try to figure out how to do it by themselves, they'll mess it up. They're not, they're do, they're, they'll submit to then, why, but why don't you do this though? I submitted, why, they're, they're doing this tit for tat thing. They need to learn from a man. Okay, so man, like 60 here, estrogen probably like maybe late 20s, 30s, 40s. And this was regular as well, too. You get a man doesn't want a, an estrogen his age, man. Men and estrogens are not equal. Estrogens over 30, it's, you're out of luck. <laughs> okay, right? And that's when they start realizing, oh my goodness, the li life is hard. Like, uh, I, I thought it was me that got all this attention and all these things, but it never was. It was literally because you were born with the costume of an estrogen. That's what got you in the door and youthful costume of estrogen. But once you get older, you start to see people aren't as nice because people were only nice to sleep with you. Right? It wasn't your personality you thought you had, you thought existed. It was literally because you were an estrogen. Okay? It was regular back hundreds of years ago now that no matter what age a man is, he wants a youthful estrogen. That's just our nature. It'll always be our nature. And what kings used to do is when, when his queen got older, she knew and that he was going to start sleeping with younger estrogens. But this is where an estrogen cannot get mad about that. She has to go... He was with me. I gave my youth to him. He provided a great life. I'm appreciative to him. It is the nature of man to want to sleep around. When when my gender, estrogen, sleep around, it's love and it's feelings and all, it's all these things. When men are sleeping around, it's literally just to feel good, right? Because it feels good, you know, intercourse. And then that's all it is, okay? 
And he used to get extra wives sometimes or maybe mistresses, but she just knew that that was the reality. The older an estrogen gets, the more her hold gets damaged, right? The more there's, you know, the other problems maybe going on with her hold and stuff like that. Her balloons in the front are starting to sag. Her backside's starting to sag. And no one cares that the man can no longer get hard, right? She should be happy. Okay, okay, uh, okay, Lord. Okay, Master. Okay, King, right? I can't maybe make you as hard, but I want to please you. I want to make sure you are pleased. Here is Erica, 19 years old. I mean, that's what used to happen. Regular stuff. All right. So long intro. Yes, gentlemen. So now let's get into this and her relationship with him. That is rule number one. That is rule number one. Please serve and obey. Yeah, exactly. That is rule number one. And that's the foundation for our relationship. Perfect. I'm not going to say anybody else's or everybody else's. I'm going to say our relationship. To serve is to give. You mm -hmm. give when you care about somebody. You give when you love somebody. You give when you have your one. Mm -hmm. These are just some examples. And you want to serve. I don't know if you want to or not, but some people do. She should want to. And I'm one of those people. When Good. I feel that and that's why you have a band. And that's why you can tell she's very feminine. You can tell she does not try to compete with him and his masculinity. You can tell she goes, okay, babe, however you want it. That's, that's, that's just how it's going. Good. Number two is you serve when you're at home mm -hmm. or you serve when you're, you're not at home. Yeah. To serve is to know what your dear and likes. Yeah. And that's how you serve. And, and, and something as simple as that, estrogen still just can't fathom. <gasps> Other people caring about what they want? No, no, no. Care about what I want. <laughs> right? Like, if you ask the majority of estrogens, like, what do men want in a relationship? Like, they'll just tell you some nonsense that estrogens just want you to want. Not what you want in a relationship. And that's why you really have to establish this from the beginning. And, and, and all men, we all made this mistake before. I'm telling you, do not assume estrogens are intelligent. And do not assume that they care about what you want and that they are going to do it. You have to let it be known. This is what I require. This is what is going to be your position. You, ha I'm telling you from the beginning, you have to set that. Estrogens are followers. So however you set it, it's just however they'll just naturally follow, right? If you're kind of going, do everything consensually, consensual, consensual. But like estrogens like it when you kind of take control, consensually, do everything consensually. But in the bedroom, when they're consensually accepting all of this, they like when you're kind of you know, taking control and just leading. And then if you just lead them in the bedroom, they just follow in the bedroom. But see, if you're not really leading and she's not really going to be into it as much. And then she's like, I don't know. And all those type of things, man. And that's just how that goes, man. It's like, it's like this one time with an estrogen. Um, so I had never, it was the first time that I ever got, um, um, I got, a, uh, I got, you know, the, um, Gawk Gawk 3000, right? So, and, you know, I just wanted it. I was in school, and I was just like, look, I want it. I'm just going to shoot shoot my shot, <laughs> right? So, I just shot my shot with her, and, um, you know, at first, you know, we're passing notes. We were supposed to be quiet in class, so we're passing notes. Passed her a note, and I'm like, um, you know, what would you do if I wanted the Gawk Gawk 3000? And then she said, I don't know, right? And if any estrogen says, I don't know, what does that mean, gentlemen, if you dealt with estrogens? All it means when an estrogen says, I don't know, is you need to do Jedi mind trick. You need to just do your master skills of the mind power and convince her to do it. She's waiting to see how you're going to lead. So if you do it kind of soft, like, uh, I don't know, I think it would be a cool if you get Gawk 3. Th if you do it like that, it's, she's going to be like, I don't really know, man. I don't really know. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> but if you lead, like, yeah, I want it. Like, what are you doing tomorrow? Do you understand? Like, are your parents home tomorrow? Right? Long story short, went over to her house. Gawk Gawk 3000, right? Consensually. We're doing what we're doing. She's allowing me to lead. And you would be surprised of the things that she did that you would never think. If you looked at her, you would never think so, man. Never think so. 
she was from Asia, straight A's, you would never think so, man. So, that's how you got to do it, man. You got to lead, man. And when you naturally lead, man, they naturally follow. It's all about what he wants. Yeah, it's all about what he wants. wants. But anybody tells you what the media tells you. Mm-hmm. It's about what your one wants. Whether yeah. that's a male or female. It could very well be a female that is telling a male, you know. As I always say, if, if, if it was more popular... Right? That's why I appreciate everyone who hits the thumbs up on these videos. It helps to get into the algorithm. So, all, all you guys who do, man, it really does help. And it's been pushing it uh in, um, in the algorithm, man. So, I appreciate you guys. But, yeah, estrogens just are their followers. So, estrogens, all the, like, half the channel is, like, estrogens watching this channel now. Right? and But, but they don't comment. And see, what it is is, see, they know it's not socially, like, accepted to just be submissive wife, be spanked, be domestically disciplined, put in your place and things like that. So, see, estrogens won't just proudly come out and talk about it. Right? Besides the ones that already pr- pretty much have a man. Right? But, see, if it becomes more popular, estrogens will be like, As- I want to be spanked. <laughs> I want to be submissive. Right? And that's why culture is just so very important to upkeep. Because if you don't upkeep it, man, estrogens... They'll just follow whatever they think that they're supposed to follow by the media. Doesn't matter. It's just all about the individual. Yeah. To obey. This is no particular order. To obey is to simply to obey. Yes. Yeah. You want to do what you're doing. See how you said that? See, this is a real man right here holding it down. <laughs> simply to obey. Simply to obey. Yep. Yes. You want to do You hear what she said? Yes. What your dear M wants you to do. Dear M is dear master. You don't want to challenge him. Nope. You don't want to fight him. Nope. You don't want to complain. Nope. And you don't want to obey with a nasty, foul attitude. Exactly. Yes. Because that would certainly not be pleasing. Exactly. Pleasing, it's not. Why should it have to be a task? If you have someone that you love and care for, you want to make their life easier. Exactly. You care about them. Just as my dear M does that in his own different way. Yeah. With her obedience comes my concomitant responsibility yeah if she's going concomitant to- i like that word buddy concomitant to obey i have the responsibility of exercising my judgment yeah so as to uh, make sure she's taken care of mm-hmm. sarah in the background just- yes daddy mm-hmm. see this is how your wife is supposed to be right when you're talking she's silent this is, I'm not religious, but, you know, I read all doctrines of anything for knowledge. And there's a reason why men wrote in the Bible, man. And estrogen is supposed to learn in silence. There's a reason. Right? There's a reason. Because that's what they're supposed to be doing. It's just when a man's talking, your wife shouldn't be talking. <laughs> like, like that. That is, is the reality, man. Like when it's like this, I'm, it just makes sense. Estrogens are going to be just so just attracted to her man because they have to feel less than their man. It is the only way relationships work between the two genders. They have to feel less than when estrogens every single time I started treating estrogen, like, no, let's, you know, let me ease up a little bit. Almost instantaneously, they start getting out of control, man. Almost instantaneously. You have to keep them at a certain type of level, man. You got to be a little mean. Men are naturally good people, man. We don't want to be mean and stuff like that to estrogens, but you have to. It is the only way. They have to know, like, daddy's the boss. Like, I can't I can't beat him in any battle. Like, <laughs> he's, he's not going to let me win any battle, any debate. Like, he's the boss. He runs it. That's when they just, like, they act how they're supposed to act as wives, man. Man talking, estrogen should not ever over talk a man. Ever. Her man. She shouldn't be doing it. If she's not looking out for herself, my job is to look out for her. Yeah. With 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 great responsibility. With I mean with great power becomes great responsibility. All right, but estrogens don't know about that. Just look at single mother statistics with their children. <laughs> All right, they just mess everything up and don't care about how it affects their kids. Right, but it's not an easy job leading, right? Which is why estrogens never led a country. It's not easy leading. It's very difficult. You have to be intelligent. You have to make sure that you're happy. Your happiness comes first for leading. Why? Because if you're not happy, then you're not going to be able to manage everything. So you have to make sure you and your core, you're good. And so you have to make sure you're good. You're not being messed with. You're getting what you're supposed to be getting. And then you have to know her happiness, what she likes, her personality. Make sure she's getting what she's getting if she's behaving. And you're doing the same things with the kids. 
right? Keeping her safe, keep keeping you safe, everybody safe. It's not it's not just an easy task, okay? Strategizing how to provide for the family. She just has to cook food and bend over and just listen to man orders. And then and it's so funny with estrogens because how are you going to say that you don't like, right? Because I get comments, that's not how it's supposed to be. How are you going to say that if you've never tried submission? I have never met an estrogen who has tried submission, truly. Who has tried submission where man has the last say, she has to submit to it, and she goes back. They won't do it. Because the only way you can un an estrogen can unlock her full potential, like Frieza unlocked his final form, is she has to submit. It's the only way they obtain their true happiness. The only way. And in that way, I also serve her. Yeah. And he serves her more. And this is what people don't dive into. The provider serves the estrogen more. Right? You just have to think deeply about it. He has to work 60 hours a week to provide, protect. She's emotional. He has to gain his, you know, more intellect on how to deal with an emotional species. Keep her safe. Keep him safe. Pay the bills. Do all these things. He's serving her. Really? To be honest, and in return for him serving her, she must obey him for him to serve her through her obedience. And that's how it works, man. And it, it should, estrogens just, they look at, and a lot of estrogens don't grow up with fathers because their mothers, <laughs> their mothers just ruined that relationship and drove the man off with her just being rude and disrespectful. But estrogens, they have a difficult time understanding that you need to stop trying to go, what do I get? And just give. Men understand this, right? With other men, a man will be like, yeah, man, if you try this, uh, yeah, I figured this out, man. It's a, it's an easy, like, extra thousand dollars a week. You're like, oh, huh, what? And he just, he'll just give that information, right? And he's not even looking for anything in return. See, estrogens, man, if you get into a disagreement with her later on, she'll be like, I'm the reason you were able to get an extra thousand dollars a week, right? And that's what they do, man, because they do things to, to get back. But when you are just genuinely nice, you genuinely just get nice results. You have to lead with just being pleasant and nice. It takes a lot of attention and a lot of dedication. Yeah. To make sure that. It's a good wife right here. That she's taken care of, that her needs are taken care of. Mm hmm. Yes. It's both ways. You see, I see th this. This is a good wife. He's not going nowhere. She's not going nowhere. <laughs> I can always tell, like, if an estrogen has a man, just based off of how she just behaves, right? Because you can tell her emotions are way more under check. She more so is kind of focused on logic. She's still feminine. She's going to be emotional, but you know, she had and she had. You could tell she has like discipline in her life, and you know where that comes from, buddy, right here. That's where it comes from. See this, this right here, and see this right here. Is a man to go, ooh, like, I think I want to see if I want to take the estrogen serious. See how he was just talking, right? Her needs are taken care of. Right, so she waited to see, okay, is my master done talking? Right? And so he stopped talking, right? And she gave it a long pause. And then, yes. and then she said, okay, now I'll talk. See, that's how you know this is a great trained wife. Right? This is a great wife. He's not going to leave her. That's how you know. She's not trying to over talk him like, he said this, I got to try to say stuff too. She, no competition. He leads, man talk first. Is he done talking? Okay, now I'll talk. See, th this is the type of wife that you want. It's these little things, man, that show you if an estrogen is worthy of actually taking serious and not just sticking inside our mouth, consensually. It's both ways. It's a give and a take. Yeah. It is a give and a take. Mm -hmm. Yes, for all those people that think, oh, I must be so wonderful to be a dom because I could just have anything at any time. Well, it's not true because it's a give and take for both parties. Yeah. Doms work hard. It's true. They invest their time, their energy, <laughs> and their care. <laughs> <laughs> I always know if an estrogen has a man, like, instantly. I, because they have logic and they actually think about other people's feelings and what they want. If you leave, as I always say, video we have on the channel. An estrogen has to submit before her self-destructive go, go, bomb goes off. I put it at the end credits if I remember. And basically a short synopsis of that is just they're meant to destroy, cause chaos, and ruin everything. It's, it's just their nature and to be selfish. It's just their nature. But a man t 
takes off that 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 self-destructive bomb before her estrogen you know self-destructive bomb goes off and he takes it off but it's her nature to go and go i'm gonna put it right back on you know after a little while and he goes no stop and then he detaches it again and diffuses it again and the, it's just that whole cycle of that but see you can just tell man like if an estrogen has a man because she's actually caring about what other people want i know i know you might think that's a joke but it's it's like you you can tell she's like and other people desire <laughs> and men desire this and i shall bring this to the table and she'll just say it and she means it well it's not true because it's a give and take for both parties dons yeah. work hard look look at her understanding what men brings to the table when estrogens go men men work hard oh she has a man every time i hear estrogen go men work hard nine times out of ten they have a man they have a man you yeah. know she goes Doms work hard, so she uh, and that's all men want. Respect you, you respect what we're doing, right? And in return, we want to do a lot for. We want to make you happy because you're making us happy, okay? But you can't go into it like he's not making me happy, and I'm making him happy. You can't, you can't look at things like a competition. Just do what you're supposed to do, and I promise you, man, men. <gasps> Men are going to just treat you amazing and lovely, but you just have to do what you have to do and not look for things in return. Just do what you're supposed to do for your man. Just do it. True. They invest their time, mm -hmm. their energy, and their care. Appreciate a man's time. Yeah. And good estrogen. That only makes the person that belongs to you care about you even more and makes mm -hmm. them want to do more for you too. Yep. Look, 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 look at that level two step logic. <laughs> Estrogen logic is always like one step. Like, estrogen submit to a man is just oppression. And, and then that's just where the logic just ends. Right? They didn't read a book. They didn't study history. They're not even listening to the other side. Right? They're just going, no. Right? But see, when they have men, they like they have deeper levels of logic. Like, so you submit to the person you love because that makes them happy. And in return, they make you happy. And we're in a relationship to make each other happy. See, she just hit multiple steps of logic. I want to be happy, therefore others have to be happy. <laughs> right? When they get that, you know they have a man. Like any good partnership. You yeah. both respect each other, care about each other, and you help each other. But not partnership and we're the same. Partnership and we're doing our traditional roles. So, in our example, I already know my one. I know what he likes. I know what he expects. Good. I know what he doesn't like. Good. And what he doesn't expect. And I follow those rules. So we like to hear <laughs> no more debating with silly american estrogens all right if they're not on the program you just don't deal with them now most men still will okay i'm not gonna fool myself but for men that are serious man like th this is the mentality that you need to look for in an estrogen you have to get her to spell out what you like what you don't like what you know you expect out of her and those things man i'm telling you if you don't set that with them they'll just do all type of wacky stuff yeah. That's a form of obeying mm -hmm. and serving. Yeah. Because I obey the rules that he gives me and I serve him in the way that he wants me to serve him. Everybody's different. Every dom is different. Everybody has a particular way of doing things. Yeah. But men are the same in the overall spectrum of respect we're men, respect our leadership, respect our decisions. Understand we have the final say, bend over for us when we desire, cook clean, do the little things we need you to do, and don't do it with an attitude because she touched on that as well. And this is the, she has a man, of, of course, obviously, right? Estrogens have this attitude and this nasty, stinky mentality, man, and just, and, and, and just disgusting. Estrogens think if you're just mean, like that's some type of personality and that means you're strong. And it's just like you can be taken by a 12-year-old boy and, and you can't do anything about it. Like you're just annoying. <laughs> like strength is not being angry men don't walk to each other and we're just angry at each other that's not that's not what we do that's not strength and we don't look at that as being strength it's just being uncivil and it's just being it's just being mean do things loving and caring and feminine but men are the same we want submissiveness cook clean bend over we're simple we have the last say obey what we say and boom you're, you're 99 percent of men you're good now you have some men they're like no i we're, we're the same or you're better than me and all that type of stuff but those type of men estrogens don't like really and, and and that's not how men should be anyways no two are the same pleasing well to please is to want to make your one 
smile. Do you want to see mm-hmm. him or her smile? You want them to be happy. So you please, yeah. because their happiness is important to you. Mm-hmm. Now, I wouldn't feel that way if my one was a mean person, a bad person. No. Of course. It's reciprocated. He guides me. He cares about me. He emotionally supports me. So I please him, I serve him, and I obey him. Good. That pleasing and serving is both in the bedroom and out of the bedroom. Good. In the kitchen and out of the kitchen. Yeah. Whatever. In the house and out of the house. Yeah. Yes. Whether it's lifting something heavy because he may have a back problem or he may be in back pain, I'm going to serve that way. I will lift that. Good. Whether it's, um, can you make these phone calls for me? I can't make them today. I'm really busy. Yeah. Of course. I want to See, it's those little things. That is why we want wives. We don't want you because you exist. <laughs> Just like... Men love alone time, right? So if we're deciding to add you in our lives, man, we need you for that type of stuff. Like, I need you to make this call or whatever, whatever. Um, then I need you to take the kids. Um, uh, little little Johnny, he's trying to play soccer. We need to support him, support what he likes. I need you to go take him there. I got to make, I got to do this business stuff, but he needs the moral support. as your job. Right, while well, I'm here slaying dragons, so you need to do that. And then, if I want to see certain type of stuff or for the important thing, put me on Facetime. So I go, "Hey, son, I'm supporting. What's up? You winning? <laughs> yeah, Dad, I'm winning. That's what we. That's, yeah, we conquerors, are we? We're conquerors. I gotta go though. All right, Dad. Right, and then boom. Right. See, we need you for that stuff. We don't need you because you breathe. I don't just <laughs> think. We need you for phone calls, cleaning cars, cooking, cleaning, picking up the kids, dropping off the kids, um, little stuff, cook, clean, laundry. That that, and and we would just be like, yes, we don't need you for you just exist and have a degree. That's me serving. That's me serving food on the table every single. Come me the snowman. Ice cold with the hose, man. Knee pussy, no relation. Then send them back to their boyfriends. Come me the snowman. Ice cold with the hose, man. Knee pussy, no relation. Then send them back to their boyfriends. Leave her chilly without jackets on the snowman. Call the squad doing trains, we run slaves, yeah.